Hey Terra, how's it going? This is Sedex from the Mount Tyrannus server, and today I'm going to show you how to warrior in Kuma Asylum. A lot of times you'll see warriors running in there in DPS, uh, and that's kind of a waste of their attributes. They have the fastest in combat run speed of any class. So I'm going to kind of set myself up as a, a runner. I'll show you the quick uh, crystal setup, uh, a couple of the glyphs that you want in there, and then hopefully queue in there and show you how to win a couple games, right? So let's get out of this first person view. And right here I have my traditional PvP setup. Uh, we'll go over to my PvE setup real quick. Make things a little faster. A little bit of lag there. Um, so obviously first you want to get rid of these power ones if you're going to be running the crystal. You want as much defense as possible. Tank some damage and hopefully allow time for your healers to keep you alive. So the Kumas count as BAMs. So, one, you want as high of endurance as possible, and two, you want to set up yourself with uh, anarchic crystals. Words. Words are hard. Can't talk. You want to set yourself up with anarchic crystals, and that'll decrease your boss damage. Um, on your weapon side, you want uh, anything that will give you boss damage, but obviously you can't enrage the Kumas, so we can get rid of that one, and give yourself a Swift Crux, which will boost your in-combat run speed a little bit more. Uh, you want to sacrifice one of your Anarchics and put in a Fleet Foot, which will increase your out-of-combat run speed. Uh, so this is the crystal setup that you're going to want if you're a runner in Kuma Asylum. Uh, get out of that and go over to the Glyph setup, right? And most of these Glyphs, not that important. Uh, if you're doing your uh, Kuma Asylum, just do your traditional PvE or PvE setup, PvE or PvP setup, sorry. But one thing that you definitely want is going to be defensive stance. Uh, increases endurance by 20% when you're in defensive stance. And that'll boost you up a little bit more on that. Uh, so let's switch over to defensive stance there. Obviously you can't use any skills while you're running, but this will help you kind of stay alive up to that point. Um, so I think we're all set, are we? Yeah, sure. So queue up for Kuma Asylum, and we'll see where this goes. All right, so we got into a Kuma Asylum here. Didn't take too long. Uh, it automatically set me as leader, so I'm gonna have to toggle between talking to you and talking to them. Hello there. I'll be your runner today. I kind of set that up so hopefully people know that I'm planning on taking the crystal and hopefully they don't grab it themselves because a lot of times, a lot of you will know, people like to open the boxes, grab it right away and just get face stomped by these Kumas. So we're going to try and try to avoid that as much as possible. Now one thing people mess up is initially out of this gate you're invincible for a set amount of time so I'll just face take that run right by him, no problem. Uh, something that you're going to want to look into, especially if you're running Kuma Asylum a lot, is the crystal setups. Uh, there's set patterns to the different boxes that I drop here. Uh, so I just kind of take a quick left here. No box there. Got a box here and box here, so it's going to be either bridge or tower setup. Um, not going to get into that too much. Next box I check for here. Yep, you got it right over here, so it's a tower setup. So let the group know. Kind of get to a safe setup and uh, ping these locations. The candy setup itself is going to be something that I'm not going to talk about right now, but it's something you wanna you're going to want to learn. So the first objective in Kuma Asylum is, is going to be to break every box in there um, and then eventually run these candies over to the boxes that you're going to see in the top left and the top right. So it looks like the majority of the people are working on box 3 down there. So I'm just going to kind of hopefully solo this as fast as possible. Okay, so they broke the box down in the bottom right, and the one in the tower is open now, so hopefully we can zerg in on this number one. And you kind of want to keep an eye on where the Kumas are and set up your run that way. 
So all three boxes are open, and you have all three Kumas on this side. Uh, so you want to try and spread them out as much as possible uh, to let them know I'm planning on running number one, the one on the left side. And I'm going to take this one and try and run up to uh, up to the top left ladder over there. So there's a little gap in the left side right here that you can kind of jump up, run through the hole, and hopefully make it through here. Keep an eye on the red dots so you know where they're coming. And it looks like my DPS is doing a decent job of distracting them. So what you see in my buff bar right there is the Mystic put on the Speed Aura. If you have a Mystic, hopefully he's using that because that lets you truck it through there a little bit faster. And then in the bottom right there you see someone just took the, uh, the crystal there. It looks like he's going to log off and that's going to relocate the uh, crystal to the middle of their little fort there. Okay, since I got this guy on me, I'm going to jump up to this hill, hopefully get out of combat and then be able to run around. And it looks like we're home free here. He might get a couple hits on me, but I don't think they're going to be able to block me here. So that's one candy in. Uh, you need two out of the three candies in order to win Kuma Asylum. So that's what we're going to work on next here. Okay, so I just grabbed the middle one, and I'm running back to the left side. Uh, the Kumas are doing a decent strategy. They're trying to chase me from behind, and then they're trying to block that entrance up there. So we might run into some trouble. Try and squeeze through this guy. Too fat. Too fat. Got it. So he knew exactly what path I was trying to take. He tried to block it, but didn't do too good of a job there. Allowed me to sneak by, and I still got the healers on me too. Now usually when you're getting chased down like this, you want to stay on these inclines because a lot of times if they're using their skills, um, if they're on a different elevation, sometimes their skills will miss and that'll help you as a runner. And those, uh, those players right there are doing a good job of blocking some of those stun balls, so that helps a lot too. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a bit. So now I'm just going to get beat up in the corner over here. Uh, healers are doing a good job. Uh, priests. If you're watching this as a priest, a rise is really good for this uh, this battleground. And my priest there did a good job of uh, keeping me up. And again, with those stun balls, uh, priest is uh, doing some cleanses there, keeping me alive. And now I'm just going to get gang banged in the corner here. Uh, the DPS are hopefully trying to stagger and knock down these kumas to get them off of me. not looking good for the good guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, that Mamakum is almost done. For Mystics, that Thrall of Wrath like just absolutely decimates those uh, Kumas. So they're doing a really good job. I actually got queued up with a good team here. Now the DPS, if they can get some staggers and knockdowns off on these Kumas, it's uh, game over right here. Jesus, all the damage. All the damage, why? There we go, those knockdowns actually helped me. They pushed me over to the side. And you see one of the babies got staggered there, so if I can make it through here, it's uh, game over. Yep, there we go. I can't see them killing me here. So I'll, uh, I'll leave the recording on, see if anything else happens through this game, but... Right there, we already uh, secured the win. So with this top one, what you can do is actually jump down onto the bridge and use the bridge. There's a little keyhole up towards uh, the path there that you can kind of bunny hop across on. So as long as you're out of combat, you'll have the speed to do this. And I'm surprised none of the Kumas saw me doing that. Oh, nope, one there. Now, I can't make these bunny hops unless I'm out of combat, so hopefully I can get myself out of combat and start making these jumps. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drop down into the gauntlet down there. And the Lancer right there you're seeing blocking a lot of the damage, so that's great on him. So I was able to get out of combat and start making the bunny hops across. And here you see that keyhole I was talking about. Good game all. And there you go. There's the win for Kuma Asylum. So I hope this has uh, helped some of you guys. A little quick tutorial. Not too in-depth, but just the basics for what you need to know to uh, become a runner as a warrior. And maybe if you guys like this, maybe I'll do some other classes, but that's it for me.